everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. It is Thrifty Thursday, Thrifty Connects, which means I have a little thrift haul. Um, I have a little thrift haul today. It's not super big. I'm kind of scaling back on thrifting for a while because I, I just need to, yeah, I just need to do that. <laughs> I just don't feel like thrifting. I don't know why. Um, anyways, so the first little bit of my thrift haul is actually just a quick forage haul. So I went out foraging this week. I've been doing a lot of eco printing um, with these early plants and I found these lovely like, I don't even know, I haven't checked what variety these are, but they're quite like, quite like a thistle, but not so spiky and mean. Um, so I just wanted to show you kind of something you can do. So I've turned them into this these little flat babies. So I did find for a dollar these little cow stamps and I thought they were really cool. So then that's all I got. So I felt bad because I was like, I feel bad paying like debit because I never carry cash. I'm terrible. Um, so I also grabbed two rolls of these or two little things of these because I see these go for a higher price in auctions a lot. So they were three dollars. I was okay with that. They're just a bunch of coin holders. Um, so they have like a slot in them um, to put a coin in, but I thought they would also be cute as like little windowed um, slides kind of that you could put two things in. So I got two bags of those. Um, they had loads of them, but I just grabbed two. I don't need a whole bunch or anything. Then I got, not in the same place, I don't think. No, no, these are at the thrift store. Um, these are all just dollar books. Um, kids books are 50 cents at this particular store that I go to. So I got Farley Mowat, Owls in the Family. Um, it has a really cute cover. That's the main reason I got it was the lovely cover. And I think I have an idea for some kind of an owl, owly themed journal. It's got nice big writing. I can go through it um, for words too. And then this one, I need to get this sticker off because it is, um, well, this one was $3. I got this at a different store. Um, so this is the High Road of Song, book three. And I just love this cover. I thought that was a really nice cover. And um, it all obviously is just full of music. And thankfully it's not religious music or like um, disturbing times of settlement music or military music. So I went for it. Um, oh, and this one too, The Secrets I Know. This is a children's book. I'm probably going to read this with my kiddos. Um, i get this off here as uh, best I can. By Callie George and Paola Zucchini. So what I liked about it was the illustration style that caught me at first. Um, it has this nice cover so you could if you wanted to you know cut it there and make a really sweet journal with it um, and you could fold the pages in half I think most of them some of them so you could make like a storybook journal with this. Um, yeah. So yeah it's it's really cute. I'm trying to like use up, not use up, but I'm trying to go through my children's books that I already own rather than getting any more because, you know, you got to put a cap on things. <laughs> so I'm trying to do that. Um, and then I found this, this is a queen sized bed sheet and I love the, um, I love the price of it. First of all, it was like $2.29 and red tags were on sale. Um, but also I was thinking of making a dress with it. I just love the floral. I think it's really cute. And then I found this. So yesterday we decided we, my daughter had, um, a class uh, or a, a group thing that she goes to. And, um, we take my son out and we do a little shopping. So this is, um, fairy's twall. I don't know where this comes from, but look at this pattern on it. It's really cool. It's like all, let me start from one side here. So here we have like a little girl with a watering can and a shovel and we have a bird, we have a lamb and a gate, a beautiful gate with this bird. And then like these kids and here we have fairies and this little 
you know, kid with a little horn. Then, um, you know, kids looking at fairies over a fence and a fairy in a pile of, you know, leaves and just lots of different things. These kids on the fence. And then we have fairies here in a swan pond with a child waiting and a umbrella and all sorts of things. Like, I guess it's quite a long repeat of fabric, which is really cool. So it's a nice big piece and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Obviously it speaks to me um, <clears throat> as journal material, but it also speaks to me as like something I could make a cute dress for someone out of my daughter maybe or like a shirt or something the last book that i got was this one the children's wonderland of stories and i'm gonna just take the price tag off so it doesn't mess with my book bracken books so i love the cover of this it's missing its paper you know cover cover but it's like really nicely patinaed paper with nice illustrations and it's from 1986 and it's got all sorts of like fairy tales in it from different um, writers and collections so some of this like I, I mainly grabbed it for the words I love the words but there are some really lovely illustrations as well and these are from older books and these these are much older illustrations than what this book is because I have some of them in different books like some of these like the water babies robinson crusoe they've been in collections before and we have some very white pages in the middle it's funny a little bit of um color illustration a few plates i think in this book but i saw um enough of these kind of great illustrations and the words and the size of the words because believe it or not, my word snippet jar, it's getting very empty, my, my box of words. I need to do some word snippet work. Okay, then just a couple, a couple more things. Okay. Okay. So, sorry, I gotta get rid of this paper bag. <laughs> Put it in my stash of things. So I got this box of Rolodex transparent sleeves. So these are for when like you actually used a Rolodex. You put the Rolodex card inside and you have this plastic sleeve for it. And I thought we could do something fun with those. So, and I don't have any of these. I have cards, but I don't have the covers. So kind of cool. And then I found this punch. It's a Creative Memories Collection punch, the Fancy Square Maker. And it comes with a little container to put your fancy squares in <laughs> with the same pattern. But it's like a little smaller. Um, so let me show you what they look like. Some paper that you can see, maybe it's black this in here. I thought this would be a nice punch for collages. I don't usually grab these punches because I never know if they work that well. I don't like buying used punches very much unless they're stamping up um, because I know they have a long life, but this one works really well. So yeah, those will be really cute for, you know, little collage bits. So I thought that was a nice little punch. I don't know that I'll really use this little case to keep them in. It'd be kind of funny. <laughs> I think that's for people who make um, small little amounts of things, which isn't me. So that's it for today for Thrifty Thursday. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll talk to you next time. Until then, may the thrifty fairies be with you.